Hi, welcome to Linda's Take. Today I'm going to be looking at the Cengage XL2 Project 2 Starpex Communications Assignment. I've already downloaded my instructions and here is my starter file. First thing that I need to do is enable editing. Then I'm going to save my file to a location where I can find it later. Okay, I have my file saved and I am ready to begin work. So the first thing that it's asking us to do is to go to the annual budget worksheet. So down here at the bottom of my spreadsheet, I have my file tabs and I have my annual budget worksheet. Select that and I'm asked to use conditional formatting highlight cell rules to format duplicate values in the range C5 through C17. So the first thing I have to do is select that range. So I'm going to come up here to C5 and drag down to C17. I'm going to come up here to conditional formatting on my home tab, highlight cell rules, then scroll down to duplicate values. I want any duplicate values in my range to be filled with light red fill with dark red text. Say OK. So this shows me that I have two duplicate values in this range. I don't need both of them. I am asked to delete the row containing the first duplicate value. So I'm going to come up here with my mouse on the first duplicate value row. When my mouse looks like the right facing arrow, I'm going to right click. Then I'm going to scroll down here to delete. And that's gone. We are now asked to go to cell F5 and insert a formula that subtracts the actual advertising amount from the budgeted advertising amount. So I'm going to first hit my equals key. Then I want to select E5 minus D5. This is going to give me what's remaining. I am then going to make F5 my active cell. I'm going to move my mouse over the fill handle so that my mouse represents like a skinny plus sign. Then I'm going to drag that down to F16 so I can fill all of the cells with that value. On the next step, I'm asked to clear the conditional formatting from the range E5 through E16. I'm going to come up here to my name box and I'm going to type in E5 through E16 and enter and it's going to select the range that I wanted to select. Then I'm going to come up here to the conditional formatting area and I'm going to come down here to clear rules and clear from selected cells. So I'm clearing that conditional formatting from that range. In the range G5 through G17, I want to apply the percent style. So I'm going to select off the current range that I'm in, come back up here to my name box and type in G5 through G17 and hit enter to select that range. I'm going to come up here to my number area and choose percent. Then I want to display, display one place after. So over here on my increase decimal, I'm just going to click on that icon once. Now in the range F5 to F16, I want to create a conditional formatting rule. Come back up here to my name box and type in F5 through F16. Enter. I'm going to come back to conditional formatting and I want formatting rule that uses the gradient fill blue data bars. We come down here to data bars, come over here to the gradient fill area and select blue. That's going to just give me a visual representation of 
the amount in my range. So you can see the larger numbers have a larger blue bar across them. I want to earn, unmerge cell B17. So I'm going to come up down here to B17. Click on the merge and center to unmerge it. Then I'm going to click off of that so I don't have any range selected. Now I want to check the spelling in the worksheet. So I'm going to come up here to the review tab and click spelling. Since I wasn't at the beginning of my spreadsheet, I get a box that says, do you want to continue checking? And I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to accept all of the changes that it recommends. Now I'm going to the charitable worksheet. So down here at the bottom, going to select the charitable worksheet. And I want to fill the merged range B2 through G2 with blue accent to lighter 80%. So I'm going to come up here and select that range, go to my home tab, and in the font grouping I have the icon that looks like the paint can. And I'm going to select that and I'm going to choose that blue accent to lighter 80%. Now we don't want to see column G, but we don't want to delete it. We just want to hide it. So I'm going to move my mouse up over G until it's the downward pointing arrow and then click to select that. I'm going to right click in that area and I'm going to come down here and select hide. In the range C5 through C13, I want to apply the currency number format. So again, I'm going to come up here in my name box and I'm going to type in the range C5 through C13. And I'm going to come up here to the number area. I'm going to click on this little arrow by general and I'm going to choose currency. And then I'm going to come up here to the decrease decimal icon and I'm going to click two times to get rid of all of the decimals. Now I'm going to click off of that range. In C15, I want to enter a formula that uses the sum function. So I'm going to come up here to C15. Over here on my home tab, I'm going to choose the auto sum. At this point, everyone likes to just hit the enter key. But in our directions, it tells us that the range should be C5 through C13. And you can see that Excel has selected C5 through C14. So I'm just going to come up here into the formula bar and change that 14 to a 13. And then I'm going to hit the check mark to enter it in. C16, we want to enter a formula that uses the count function. Count function is a st statistical function that counts the number of entries for us. So with that cell, our active cell, I'm going to come up to the formulas tab, come over here to the more functions area, highlight statistical, then come over here and scroll down to count. And I'm going to get this little argument box where I can tell it exactly what I want to look for. And again, it fills in a range for us, but that's not the range we want. We want the range C5 to C13. So I'm just going to change this C15 to 13 and then say OK. So it lets us know we have nine entries or nine gifts in our area that we're looking at. In the last step, we are going to go to cell C18, and we are going to enter a formula that first subtracts the projected donation amount from the total donation amount, then divides the result by the projected donation amount. And that's going to give us our over-under percentage. So the first thing that we need to do is hit the equals key. And since we want it to perform 
one part of our mathematical equation before it divides, we need to put that part of our formula in parentheses. So shift nine gives you the open parentheses and we want to subtract the projected donation amount from the total donation amount. So we want C15 minus C17. Then we need to use the close parentheses or shift zero. Then we're going to divide that by our projected donation amount, which is here in C17. Then we're going to hit the Enter key to enter that formula. So we are 3% over in our donations and sponsorships. Now we're ready to save our file and close it. Go back to our class in Cengage and we're ready to submit our file for grading. So let's look at our graded summary report and we received a 100 out of 100. I hope you learned some new things on your assignment as we worked through them together here on Linda's Take. As always, if you liked what you saw here, please subscribe to my channel and I hope you have a great day.